Welcome to Papa Junk Shop. Now I haven't made a video for a while. Um, we went on a little camping excursion, so we were gone for that for a while. And we come back from that, and I wound up with a piece of metal in my eye. I put up with it for about three days, thinking that it was something else because I hadn't been out here in the garage. Um, cutting anything or working with anything but somehow I must have picked up a piece of metal and, and during the night when I was sleeping I, when I went to bed my eye was fine when I woke up it was irritated so I don't know if I had it picked it up on my hand or in my head or something or I don't know but anyways it wound up in my eye must have been in my eyebrow maybe and I rubbed it in during the night or who knows but anyways we got that out so I was a little over a week miserable with only one eye that was doing me much good so uh, and then I've been trying to deal for a new to me truck mine's getting a lot of miles on it and I get a little concerned so got a few days of that without any success so far and everybody wants top dollar for theirs and wants to give me less than fair trade in value for mine so we're going to keep looking so the inverter just up and quit one night about nine o'clock the lights went out and I have no idea why had about 60 watt load on it when it went out so I've been communicating with the uh, the seller and they said they're gonna give me my money back is all I had to do is use the return button because it's got a two-year warranty on it well the return button doesn't work and I'm still trying to get an answer back from them uh, like I said I, I really don't want my money back I want to work an inverter and I really like this one I can't see anything wrong with it the DC voltage lights up fine when you turn it on it goes through the normal checks and the light comes on that says it's working and you can hear a little bit of a buzz it sounds like it's working but there's nothing coming out of it and I cannot see anything that looks bad of course I'm you know I'm not gonna tear into it until I know for sure what the, the fate is, whether I'm going to have to send this one back or, or what's going to happen. So the old inverter that run for 15 years before is, is back in again. <laughs> and I decided that uh, the water's low and I switched over to the other uh, aluminum winding wash machine motor slash generator and when the batteries were all the way up when it switched over it would switch over and then it would go back and the relay just kept clicking so it made enough voltage to set it off but then when it come back on it would slow down enough and then it would drop out so I decided that uh, cut it in half so it didn't make quite as high a voltage and this has got the aluminum windings and this is what I come up with for an idea what I've done is I'm just gonna cut it in half I'm gonna start there so I got them all numbered this is the halfway point this way this way and I've got these terminal blocks because I know you can't solder aluminum wire so I thought if I put them under a screw and then make my other connections here on the other end of the screw, I think I'll be all right. And I got some double-sided tape on the back side, and that's going to sit on there. And then I got ties, and it seems to be a good solid uh, setup. So that's where I'm at at this point, trying to do this. So I will show you when I get this part done. The rewiring re finished. 
Now these these three here, the original ones, start out here and they're tied together here. And this is where I split. So they're separate here and they're tied together here. I got these all snuggled down in there. They come back out here and I'm just going to tie them in with the other wire down at the uh, powerhouse. So we'll get this thing assembled and get it back down there and see what kind of results we get. Okay, I got it installed and I'm back up in the up at the house. The battery voltage is at 14.7. Uh, I haven't had anything on today. Been here by myself. The uh, solar things are all shut down. The batteries are up. And this is what we're making with no load. 47 volts. Before it would go up to, well, around 100. Just about twice that. And then if it would charge just a little bit, then this thing would click on and then it would go off and then it would go on. So I've got this set at 70 volts and to come back on at 25. So um, we'll give it a try and we'll see, see what she makes. Let me get some stuff turned on here. Be right back. Okay, got about 300 and some watts turned on. Battery voltage is dropping a little. And let's see. We're starting to charge a little. There we were. He still thinks the battery's full. I thought I seen a 0.2 amps there or something. So we'll give it a few minutes to run her down a little bit so she'll start coming back on. And of course the solar wants to make up for everything so let me shut the solar panel off and then then we can rely more on the water wheel hey okay, this just came back on down to 39 volts we're making 1.1 .1. you know it can't make up its mind yet They're starting to come around. It'll take a while to settle in. Because the water will slow down a little bit. And then it'll readjust and eventually it'll calm down and come up with a steady speed. So I think we made an improvement there. We won't be overshooting that bypass relay. It well, still hasn't settled down. But you get the idea. So we've uh, Made another improvement, I think, and hopefully those aluminum windings are are going to hold up that way. Uh, it's in a dry environment, so I don't think it'll bother. I think it should be good, solid connection. So uh, we'll give her a whirl for a few days and see what we wind up with. And I'll show you the video that the. Uh, for my other inverter that went bad, they wanted me to send a video of what it does when I turn it on. And I'll put that at, at the end here. So, uh, sorry about not having any videos for a while, but been busy and then with that mess with my eye. Thank goodness it wasn't in the part where you look out. It was right on the edge of the clear, clear part where you look out. So, 
no damage was done everything's good so if you enjoyed it uh, give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please do and we'll see you next time and keep watching I'll show you that video at the end now as you can see we don't have much water seems like it rains a little bit every once in a while but not much it goes all around us north and south for some reason There she is in action. I have a 100 watt light bulb plugged in, incandescent.